So hello everyone, welcome back with another video of Salesforce Geek channel and in this video we are going to cover choice lookup component in Salesforce screen flows. So without any delay, let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to build a demo screen flow. So I will simply click on create button and then simply click on flow. So first of all, I'm going to start from scratch. Let me just click on next click on screen flow and I'm going to click on screen. So when you see this screen, you first need to provide the label and value and the API name basically. So let's say choice lookup data and in the component, I just need to type. So see, there is kind of a problem with this screen flow when it gets load right you will not sometime you are not able to see the component so just want to let you know what exactly you need to do in this case so right now you can see i'm not able to see the choice lookup component or any lookup component there are very limited screen components that you are seeing on the screen so that might be an issue like i am doing it in a pre-release org right so but the hack is simple you just need to click on done and save your flow so let's say choice look up demo and let me just click on save once this is saved try to open the screen again and see this time you will able to see all the components so here i will simply type choice lookup so here you can see input choice lookup so let me just drag and drop to the screen once i drag and drop to the screen so let's say let me give a name for example let's say accounts right and disabled is basically uh, if you mark disabled as true so the component is like in disabled state you are not able to select it simply remove it place holder tag or let's say type account name so here you can see you will see the placeholder uh, inside the choice lookup component so now you have different choices right so first of all you have the option like whether you want the user to select multiple choices or not so for example in this case i am going to select no like i don't want to display multiple choices or let's say i don't want to select multiple choices over here now first of all you will see when i click on new choice resource and here you will see we have choice choice collection set record choice set and pick list choice set so i am going to let you know every single of them so first of all what i am going to do i am going to use the record choice set because as you know i added the name account right so i am simply going to select choice look uh, record choice set here so let's say account data object let's say account and here i am going to add let's say any condition annual revenue greater than 10,000. So here you can see if you are understanding the concept of lookup component and choice lookup component, it's just in choice lookup, we are getting the filtered data, right? And in lookup component, you don't have any option for the filtered data, right? Whatever uh, the relationship that you are adding over there, it will display all the accounts that are available to us. But in choice lookup component, we have the power to basically control which account to display or which type of choice to display, right? So that's why here you can see I am adding the filter over here, like annual revenue greater than 10,000. Now here you have option how many number of choices you want to display. So let's say I want to display 10 choices. Now, first of all, choice label, what exactly you want to display. So I want to display account name. and it is a data type as text now choice value so this is important guys and that's where most of the people found it difficult to understand the concept see on the ui i am displaying the name and in choice value if i type name then value itself give me a name as well i will show you what i'm talking about now here you will see store more account field values now what exactly it is saying it is saying like the choice that you are going to select over there. If you want to select any other data of that particular selected choice, you can store it in separate variables. So for now, I did not create variables, but let me do it. I'm going to click on done for now. 
and here you can see choice data is available in account data so what i will do i will simply click on done for now and i will go to resources and click on new resource here i will create a variable of type annual revenue and the data type going to be currency because i am going to store the annual revenue so here you can see i added annual revenue let me just click on done and i am also going to create another variable called account id and data type let's say text and click done now what i will do i will simply move to the choice that i created so here you can see account data is a record choice set so let me just open it and click on edit now you will see if i scroll it down so first of all i am going to store the annual revenue and annual revenue i am going to store in the variable that i created i hope you are getting it right again i am going to store the id as well and again account id so i hope you get the point so whenever the user select a particular choice from the choice lookup component these two variables will also hold the value of that particular record that we are selecting now you remember this i selected choice label as name and choice value as name so this is a important point that i will let you know in uh, next one minute let me just click on done now i will select one more screen here and let's say display text let's say choice data i need to remove the space and now here i am going to select screen component accounts choice lookup dot selected choice label and let's say account dot selected choice values so right now you can see i selected label value right and here let's say i am going to add annual annual revenue count id so in annual revenue i am simply going to select annual revenue and account id let's say account and here label and here done but i need to add the screen name so let's say the result of choice lookup component so again i'm going to click on done save my flow and let's say click on debug and when i click on run here you can see i the account that i'm seeing over there are approximately or like they are exact 10 because you remember i added 10 maximum number over there right so you are able to see 10 records over there that are basically meeting the criteria where annual revenue is greater than ten thousand dollars so for example i will select weekly mail inc and hit next so right now you can see weekly mail inc value is weekly mail inc and wealth revenue we stored in a variable and this is account id so i hope what exactly we are getting here now here is one important point that i want to let you know whenever we selected any choice or whenever we selected any value in our account data right uh, here i in the label i selected name and in the choice value i am also selecting name but let's say if i select id here that is account id let me just click on done save my flow click on debug and click on run again so see that's what i want to tell you like if you select any account over there and hit next so i hope you are getting on the ui we selected edge communication but in the back end we got the value id of that particular account so you can select according to your use case whatever you want to use most of the time we select id because we are going to uh, do every single logic with the help of ids right because they are unique and so that's what it is so i hope you get the concept like in label it's for ui and value is for backend like if you are selecting account name so you just need to make sure you are what exact value you are selecting is it name or is it id so that's the one concept that i want to let you know and you also understand the concept of variables that we are creating to store the extra data so whenever the user select values 
right what exactly we need to do we need to store all the values in a variable now the second thing that i want to let you know if i add another choice lookup component and this time let's say manual choices and in manual choices what it is when i provide manual values let's say i created this choice let's say i added b create b as a choice add c select c as a choice right so here you can see manual choices a b c are the values and let me just click on done and on the display text i will add manual component choices or let's say choice in this case and choice is coming from where it is coming from manual choice screen component let me select it and here you can see here we also have the concept of label and values i can let you know for example i want to display labels let's say label and in this and now i'm going to replace the dynamic value here from the manual choices to values right let me just click on done hit save let me click on debug and let me click on run so for now let's say this time i'm going to select any other account that's a grand hotel and resort limited and in manual choice i select it let me just click on next so now you will see grand hotel this 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 now in the manual component if you are understanding choice label is a and choice value is a now for example if i go back to choice a and edit it so you will also get the value like what is the choice label so let's say a and in the choice value let's say if i put one over there let me just click on done hit save and click debug again let me click on run and let's say i will select burlington textile corp and let's say select a and hit next so this time you can see choice value is one now so i hope you will now get even much better the concept of label and values in choice lookup component so now we have another choices so let's see if i add choice lookup and this time we have pick list right and in this i'm going to create a new choice resource and let's say pick list choice set pick list choice set is nothing but you can fetch the pick list values from the any object let's say case lead so for example in this case i am going to find lead source object let's say lead and it will give you like you will need to select basically the data type either pick list or multi select pick list so i will simply provide pick list field let's say lead source right and, and let me click on that so i provided a choice over here and let me just claim to provide the api name so let's say pick list choices let me just click on done hit save oops i also need to display the value here so let's say i will also add pick list choices i'm going to select pick list choice dot i think we are good now you understand the concept of label and value so i'm not going to deep down into it let me just click on done hit save and let me click on debug let me click on run so if i select let's say dickinson ltd a pick list choice let's say foreign query and hit next so you will simply get all these values right i hope you are getting it now let's say we have another choice right so let me select another lookup component onto the first screen so let's say look up and the fourth is basic also oh, oops it's lookup component i need to drop choice lookup so in the choice let's say i'm going to select new choice resource and it is going to be collection choice set so it is like if you have any collection right so you can select it here so before selecting a collection we need a collection now what exactly collection is basically a list of record so let me do one thing for now let me just delete this and create a collection first in order to show the collection variable in the choice lookup what exactly we need to do we simply need to use our get record element and let's say cases 
let's say case is closed equals false right and i am going to select all records and after that i will move to the and let's say collection choice and in the same way this time i'm going to add new choice set and that is going to be collection choice set let's say case is collection and here you can see cases from case so that's how you can see now again it will ask me so i am going to simply add case number and in the value id of the case so i hope you get it let me just click on done and click on done now let me save button let's click on debug oh but we didn't add the collection choice data here so let me add collection choice data collection choice label value so in the label i am simply going to add collection choice dot label collection choice dot values click done let me just check one more thing here so yeah so for now we are just checking for the single values like when the user going to select the single input over there let me click on save now let's i'm going to click on run let's say select an account manual choice a picklist choice let's say partner referral collection choice here you can see the case numbers so the case number is this and behind the scenes you are getting the id so that's how you are getting the data now this is the case when we are only getting the single data we also need to see choice lookup for multiple inputs but i am going to create a separate video for that because this video is itself takes a lot of time so make sure you stay tuned for that and if you like our video make sure you hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos thank you Thank you.